Assignment 3-12, writing equations in point-slope form. So the point-slope formula, you're going to need two things, a point, so an ordered pair, and the slope of the line. And you've got your equation right here. Now we're going to be plugging in our values for x1 and y1 and m, and this is the one time where you do not want to put parentheses when you replace a letter. So this is going to go y minus my y1 value, which is 8, equals m, so negative 1 third times x minus x1. So since my x1 was a negative number, we've got minus negative 3. So in the next step, we need to fix those double negatives right there and make it into a plus sign. So I just rewrote the rest of the problem like it was, just changing the plus sign. Now that I've fixed all double negatives, I'm going to go ahead and do the distribution step. So I'm multiplying the negative 1 third to each of the numbers inside. I would still have y minus 8 equals negative 1 third times x was negative 1 third x, and negative 1 third times 3 was how I got negative 1. Then from there, you're going to add 8 to both sides, and remember you can only do it to the other number without the letter, so our answer is negative 1 third x plus 7. So that's how you're going to do the four problems on the front. When you look at the back, this time you're going to be writing the equation of the line given two points. Well, to use the point-slope formula, you've got to have a point and the slope. So what we are going to do is use the slope formula first, and then we can do point-slope. So for the slope formula, it is on your paper. y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1. And if I plug in my numbers, just like I have it right here, I end up with 4 over 8, which is the same thing as 1 half when you reduce it. Now, to use the point-slope formula, I'm going to use the slope we just found and pick one of those two original points. doesn't matter which one you picked. I picked 2, 8. Then after that, all you're doing is plugging it into the equation. I didn't have any double negatives. So I didn't have to fix that. But next, I would distribute, and then I would add the constant to the other side. And I've got my answer, 1 half x plus 7.